Hey guys, Jeff here with Coastline Gaming, and we are back playing Elder Scrolls Oblivion. We are working on our low-level challenge run of the game. So far, so good, I suppose. We we haven't suffered too horribly. I think I've died once so far, maybe. <laughs> but that was due to poor planning on my part. Of course, one of our biggest uh, dilemmas will always be gravity. All right, so we're going to continue the story. So our objective is we've got to head to Choral. Right, we've got to go here. There's our waypoint. Now, there's the Imperial City. We're over here. You know what? We are going to take the long way to get there. We're going to just head in that general direction, and we're just going to see what we encounter along the way, what map points we find. We're not going to go in and do too much dungeon delving on the way, but we'll get a couple of waypoints marked, and we'll see if we can get to the city before we finish up for this episode and continue on to the next episode. So we're basically just going to try to just run through the story. So there we go, our athletic skill increased. This is super weird for me. <laughs> uh, usually I am a chronic leveler. I spend a ton of time trying to level, power level. Other games I'm playing right now, I would be doing all sorts of leveling, like Skyrim and stuff like that. Uh, if you haven't already, and I'll actually put a link for it over the course of this video, is I've done some videos on how to power level in Skyrim. Right. You. Armor skill is up. Oh, that's close. What is with the heavy hammers here, people? The one thing I'm definitely suffering for is shitty healing spells. Alright. <laughs> Let's grab some stuff if it's worth anything. Alright. The weapons apparently just drop wherever and just gonna grab them. Alright, so already if there's one thing so far that is a challenge it's the uh, sorry, it's it's the not having access to higher level spells because I don't have a higher magicka. So that's definitely proving to be a bit of a challenge. So, and apparently our, some of our gear drops would be better at a higher level. The offset to that is the enemies that you're fighting are considerably tougher, and if you're not geared up for that, you're, you're in a bit of trouble. Let's put that away. Let's get this cave on the map marker. Robber's Glen Cave. Cool. So there's a couple of things, that, at the very least, that, you know... When I get time, I'm going to definitely do a bit of just side exploration. Oh. I do need to improve my block skill. That's probably going to be one of the biggest things that's going to help me out, is a good block skill. The other thing I have to figure out is better solutions for magic. So when people are casting spells at me and such like that. Because so far, that's the one thing that, other than just getting mauled by a guy with a big hammer, uh, it seems to be a dilemma at this point. Now, of course, as my skills go up, some of this stuff is going to improve. Hopefully, if I get my res restoration up high enough, either through training or just uh, overall use, because I'm going to need it a lot. Uh, I will be able to cast higher level uh, healing spells at only minor issues. I mean, it doesn't need to be massive because obviously I don't have a ton of hit points. There you go. And a slightly stronger attack would be great, but not essential. Mostly because, like I said, we're kind of on on the greater fame. So how do I how do I get greater fame? That I don't know. I don't recall how to do that. So 
There is that as well. Okay, so we're making making good progress. Everything we fought so far we can handle. <coughs> Obviously, uh, right now swarms may be a problem. My restoration definitely does need to go up a little bit more, though. Get that reduction in cost. Now, I think, just like in Morrowind, you can create custom spells as well. Found Inn of Ill Omen. Okay, I don't want to go in there. It's an Inn of Ill Omen. <laughs> that doesn't sound good to me. All right. This is a longer road, so we'll keep going this way. Is that there? A couple of these shrines kind of all over the place. And I'm, I'm wondering if I can also... How doing some of the Daedric quests might go. I know I have one Daedric quest already. And that's kind of a staple of the series. Is various quests like that. You know, while we're here, we'll quickly stop. Ah, innkeeper. Greetings. Hello. I need to sell some things. I hope I can help. Absolutely. Training. What do you have training? Knowledge is power. I could train in alteration, which I don't need. Okay. We're gonna barter. Only quality goods for sale here. What can I interest you in? This position. Ooh. I might actually be able to go up here with no problem. 48 for potions of health, which is not a bad deal. I could also get a couple of weak potions of healing. Can I get... I'm just going to get three. It's just not reasonable. Oh, you don't have enough gold for me to be able to do I'm going to have to sell stuff. Oh, that's me selling things, that's right. Okay. All right. Some cheese you got a great deal there. I almost, uh, I, gotta, I gotta pay attention to what I'm doing, my goodness. All right, that's all you can s uh, okay. so what can you guys buy from you? If it wasn't for the fact that alchemy was one of the ones that I didn't want to work with, it's gonna be too bad. I, I could grab some food to eat, but okay. Thank you for your business. Okay. Good day. Thank you. All right, back outside. Auto save. That's an idea. We should save. <laughs> Better remember, we need to to save often here. Well, we really, really have to save often. Okay, back on the road. There's a waypoint thingy there. Want to go all the way that way? Let's heal. Oh, it's a skeever. Great. I have witless pox. My intelligence is drained. That'd be the only advantage to being a vampire. Be immune to diseases. Alright, I'll just have to see if I can find a, uh, a temple or a church when I get to the town that I'm going to. Oh, that drain on my magicka is fierce. Alright. Oh, another skeever. At least I don't have to worry about this one giving me diseases. I already got one. Could grab a whole bunch of mushrooms and stuff to sell. Just kind of go that route. All right, I'm gonna get this one on the waypoint. When I look majestic. <laughs> yeah, not, not this one. All right. attention of somebody. Oh, 
Oh, it's stunted to scare him. That's... Well, at least my armor skill is improving. Got him. Okay, one skill improved. Nothing. I was... So other than the training, that didn't do me much good. More of a danger than it was a help. See, so far those guys could do a fair bit of damage to me. But of course, as my armor improves, that should be somewhat mitigated, I hope. Not 100% sure. Alright. Now I think we've long since passed the capital. Oh no, we have not even passed the capital. <laughs> we have not made a ton of progress yet. <laughs> but traveling over land just means I have a chance to get a couple more things, right? More things is good. Because right now, basically the two things that should get me through this play, one is definitely going to be... Uh, Septums, uh, gold. So I'm going to need a lot of that to keep running. Because I'm going to have to pay for repairing. At least until my repair skill goes up. Or at the very least buy repair tools. Because I'm out. And they're not the cheapest thing. There's two of those guys. I do have a bow, and I've been tempted to work on my marksmanship, but... As long as I don't get hit at the same time as he hits me. Fire is a problem. We got that marked. I know there's another guy on the other side, but off I go. Very much need a higher restoration. Ooh, there's another shrine. But to who? We'll find out once we get close. Alright, so we have now... See, so there we go. There's the Imperial Capital. Now made it that way. Now made it that far. So it's not too bad. Alright, so on our e next episode, we are going to continue on our adventure. We're going to get all the way to uh, our destination and try to find uh, Clavicus Vile Shrine. Oh, nice. Mask of Clavicus Vile is tempting, but not quite on the dock of things that I want to grab. Alright guys, thank you for joining me. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Give me a like. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the challenge so far. We're still level 1. We haven't uh, progressed any... I keep pressing all the wrong buttons. We're still level 1. We'll see how uh, far we can get with this level before it gets too difficult and see what we can do with the skills that we have on hand and the gear that we've been collecting. Have fun, guys. Keep gaming. And I will see all of you again next time for more Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion.